I am very pleased to say that popping up on my screen now is the fabulous Naomi Aki. Naomi, hello and welcome. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm really well. I, I was just saying, it's, it's the hottest day and um, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, but have you, got, have you got something refreshing to do for during the ceremony? Have you got a nice drink ready? Um, of course, the Tattinger's <sighs> is going to be right by my chair. Oh, I'll a just... glass of champagne. Oh, lovely. Mm. Yeah, make sure it's nice and chilled. Yeah, oh, that that'll yeah. see you through. That'll yeah. see you through for sure. And, and this is your first BAFTA nomination. How does that feel? It's insane. I feel like it's um, it's memorable not just because of the BAFTA, but because of everything that's happening. I, I, but it's it's a nice like way to celebrate a quite difficult time. So I'm really happy about it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, when I mean, when you first read the script for the end of the, how do we say, it? the end of the effing world? Do we? Eff, let's keep it effing. Effing Sorry. world. It does feel that feels very polite, very BBC. <laughs> the end of the yeah. effing world. Uh, what <laughs> jumped out at you that made you want to get on board with with that with that show? Oh God, you know what? I have never played a, a character so far that was so complex, and I, I instantly felt an empathy for Bonnie that I felt like there was a challenge there to try and encourage. The audience to feel an empathy for her as well so it felt like a challenge and it scared me and i, I like to do things that are scary oh that's a well, that's a very very noble way to approach things you know you know, <laughs> <And I> know. <laughs> but this isn't your first time of jumping on board with something that's already established because of course you've been involved in star wars yeah. had, had a figurine made and everything i did it's, it's right over on my mantel piece next to the um, champagne oh. <laughs> <laughs> was yeah, that I think was it was that... mad. I think, you know, it was it's two, sh two kind of big projects that had a huge fan base. So last year was like a time of me trying to find a way to do my job, but also yeah. dealing with the excitement of, of everyone who loves these shows. Um, so it was quite an intense time, but I'm so happy with the result. Well, I think you can't be happier with the result. I mean, you've been for, you know, you've been for one of those projects, you've been nominated for a BAFTA, so yeah. I think you should uh, remember that, you know, I think it's so easy, isn't it? For us, we kind of beat ourselves up sometimes, I think, and go, no, is this all right? Is this good enough? Yeah, like, so hard on yourself. When I, I actually watched, like, the first four episodes at, like, a screening for um, End of the Effing World, <laughs> and uh, I, I was like, oh, gosh, I want to do that better, I should have done that better, and, oh, you know, watch yeah. it back, and, you know, I think moments like these is, like, a time just to celebrate the thing that you did, Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. happy. Oh, well, no, yeah, you should celebrate, definitely. Like, it's wonderful and so happy for you and such a well-deserved nomination. So I say enjoy the rest of the evening and um, all the best for the ceremony later on. But, Thank um, you. Naomi, thanks so much for joining me. Real pleasure to talk to you. No worries. Thank you so much. Take See care. you soon. And you, bye.